Niner via Lima, three Delta Fox. Just heard from Jim Lund, I'll get back to him. After the flight. Notice my cows are closed. After talking with Paul about not getting the oil temps high enough, he suggested Three Delta Fox, I'd say tight. Three Delta Fox, a Twin Comanche, PA-30. Okay, so I got a couple things I got to pull out here. That one, that one, that one. This is my modified run up. For the electro air ignition. Mixture's full rich. The oil temperature's up to 115, looking good. Gonna go up to 2000. I'm going to cycle the props once. That's enough. Bring it down to 17 for engine break-in. I'm going to do left first. Expect a three to 400 RPM drop. Got about 290 today. Bring it back. Don't do the next one until the electro air recovers it. Back to 17. Almost no drop. Looks like 50 RPMs. To the right side. Okay, just a little bit. That's good. Bring it back to 17. Left magneto, three to 400 drop, got about 290. Wait till it recovers. Right side, about 50. So this. Wilmington Tower, Trooper 4, landing is started. Right about Trooper 4, Roger, thanks. Cow flaps are not open. We're at 124. I'll keep an eye on them. I'm going to try what Paul was telling me. Flaps are set for takeoff. They're up. Lights and strobes, I'll get them on the go. Five five. Traffic departing runway 1, experimental jet. Uh, wind 060 at 14, gust 2 to runway 1. Get the fuel pumps on the go. Option. All right, here we go. Traffic in sight and uh, clear for the option in runway 1, 43655. Five. Welcome to Tower Train Comanche 833, Delta Fox holding short of 9 on Lima, ready to go. November 655, extend your down one. I'll call your base for one departure off runway 9 or party rebel. No worries, uh, we'll extend the down one, 43655. Thank you. Comanche 833, Delta Fox, Trout Wilmington Tower, wind 060 at 13, gust 22, runway 9 Quick for takeoff, make a right turn southbound. Clear for takeoff, runway 9, right turn southbound, 3 Delta Fox, thanks for getting me out. All the lights are up, pumps are up. Clear right. Keep an eye on the oil. Focus on the takeoff.
Delta over 655, base turn approved, traffic not departure roll, runway 9 or no factor. Windows RPMs are good, zero, power's good. Three, two, two, runway 1 cleared for the option. Clear for the option, runway 1, 43655. Here comes the gear. RPMs are at the limit. thousand set. I get a little bit more caught up with the airplane each time I fly it. And I'm really realizing at this point. Command to treat out the box trap traffic to Cherokee on a one mile final landing runway one descending through seven hundred, no factor. Uh, Roger that thank you sir. I'm looking for him. Three out the fox. I got him in sight, and we're, we're clear of him. Thank you. Attitude indicator is working just fine this morning, but we're not going to trust it. Um, when I get around to it, I'm going to get that overhauled, as well as the pressure gauge, which is completely died on the left side over there. Diaphragm, I'm sure, is probably shot. Take care of your engines, Frank. Oil is 133, 127. Tuesday, I got a turn coming up in two miles. It's hard not to let this thing get your attention. I'm going to focus on this TFR right in front of me. Make sure this turn happens. There we go. Now Frank feels better. So anyway, uh, Tuesday night, I'm going to fly the airplane down to 3 3 November. And um, I'm not going to make that an hour flight because uh, i got to get it done. But, um, I'll go down there, and the plan is if I can get Beverly to get back up, she's going to come get me. We'll have dinner somewhere if there's a restaurant open. Or maybe we'll rethink that. I don't know. Maybe we'll just order a pizza and eat it in the car. <laughs> um, so we'll get out of the house, get her out of the house for a while, get me out of the house for a while. Get the airplane where it needs to be. Let Paul work on it while I'm at work. And then, um, then maybe I'll, uh, one of my teammates that I'm going to be training, working with, lives down this way. So maybe I'll hitch a ride with him. I'll get him to drive me over to the hangar. And then drive me, drop me off at the airport down near Dover when the airplane's done and fly home. Uh, by pressure gauge on the right side, I'm showing 8.5, a little less than 9 gallons per hour. And by measurement, it's 9.5. So we'll see when we get that overhaul, if that improves a little bit. On the left side, it's showing 0, so that's got to improve. And I understand how that works now. Um, I, uh, Paul did call me and talk me through it. Um, he also told me he's got somebody stuck on the ground for lack of parts. So I might wait on these guys to send them off until uh, all the dust settles from this virus thing. Well, I'm sorry I didn't have the camera on for that one. I just had a near miss with two eagles. One of them flashed under me and the other one came right for the windshield. I did a full pull up, still on the autopilot. And uh, the autopilot's working its way back down again. That was very close. That was very close. My heart is a pumping. That was close. Damn, I didn't get that on film. Damn, I didn't get that on film. I can't believe I didn't get that on film. And got through it. Not my brand new engines. That was my first thought. You're going to take out the freaking left engine. Here it comes. Here it comes. And I just pulled. And I didn't want to hit that thing in the face. I just pulled. And we shot up. So I'll probably see that on the... Uh, 
uh, on the tape, on the flight aware tape, and on the four flight log, where Frank almost died. Damn eagle, too. Wow, 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 wow. Holy wow.